Hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian, and today we are continuing our look at the Mars Attacks Occupation uh, card set. Um, this card set, of course, was issued way back in 2015, a full three years ago as of this recording. So it's practically ancient history, but we'll look at it. Anywho, uh, if you missed part one, just click on the name Starvin' Martian. You will find um, several playlists, including Mars Attacks, the trading cards, and you'll find it there, along with all the other Mars Attacks card series that I've covered and... Um, I've been going more or less chronologically, so um, you can catch up on anything you've missed. But let's dive right in. Last time we did the, the first half of the story cards, and um, so we'll continue with those today. This one here is called Panic in the Park. Um, rather self-explanatory. There's people. They're in a park. They're They're panicking. Giant death robots would do that. Um, if you did miss the first part and you don't feel like clicking back for some reason, uh, just to briefly catch you up, the card series before this, Mars Attacks Invasion, the uh, Martians invaded the Earth, pretty much took over everything. So now we're in occupation. The Martians uh, are ruling the Earth, and um, life goes on as it always has, except now under Martian rule. And when Martians feel like causing a little bit of mayhem, they do. And... Um, there's a resistance going on called the Novus Vira. Um, we'll see some of them in a little bit. So, um, I guess that about catches you up. I don't get too far in depth into the story on the back of these cards because I'm just showing you the pictures, guys. I'm giving you a brief um, outline of what's going on. You can buy the cards yourself. I highly recommend them. This is an excellent series. But moving on to our next card, which is card number 28. It's called Prison Break. I've seen a number of prison movies in my time. Very few of them involve giant insects. I think I would have seen more if they did, though. Our next card is called Under Siege. And it's followed by Enter the Augments. Yeah, right. Augments. These are people who have been augmented with uh, technology. You see this guy here fighting some giant mutant spider crabs. And if you ever encounter a giant mutant spider crab, I recommend running unless you are augmented with laser gun technology, in which case, fight it all you like. Next up is the Shrink Ray. Now, this is a classic um, Martian device. It's been seen in many, many Mars attacks. Um, uh, bits of entertainment, the several of the card series, it's in the movie, it's in the comics. This is a particularly gruesome shrink ray because, uh, according to the back of the card, not all of the, um, subject shrinks at the same time. So his outside is shrinking faster than his insides, and so his insides inevitably explode out of the poor schmuck. Is this better or worse than shrinking down and getting stepped on? I don't know one uh gnarly looking martian scientist though in it so here's novus virus strikes oh though it really looks like it's the martian that's doing the striking here very nice picture though very well painted all the cards in this series are very very well painted um I have to say that I do enjoy the artwork on this card. One thing they did in this series and in the series before Invasion is they had the artwork go to the um, edge of the card. Now, in traditional Mars Attacks trading cards, there was that white border around them. But they really wanted to be able to include all of the art, so the, um, the art does extend to the, to the edge of the cards in this series. Okay, our next uh, card is called Curse of the Monster Man. Curse of the Monster Man. Or as I like to call it, Hello, see, I'm home. Yes, the uh, Martians have been um, doing unholy experiments on people, turning them into mutant man monsters to do their evil bidding. 
And uh, this one apparently came home to find its wife. It only has vague memories of who she is or who he is, but he knows where his house is. And, you know, she doesn't seem all that startled by him. She's like, oh, you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I see a rocky road ahead for this relationship, unfortunately. Next up is Last Supper. This is what happens when you forget to tip your waiter. You'll notice, by the way, that they're dining at the um, Marcianos, good food and wine. And I do like this card. It's a very nice card. Very artistic. Actually, I'd kind of like to blow this one up into a poster. What do you guys think? If you could blow up one of these cards into a poster, which would you choose? Alright, next up is called Stomped to Death. Um, yeah, that's pretty descriptive of what's going on. It's a robot. It's stomping people. They're dead. So no false advertising there. Heroes of the Heartland is up next. See that guy on top of the tractor with the cool um, Stormtrooper outfit? That's a member of the Novus Vira, I believe. Um... Well, he's a member of one faction of the Resistance. In any case, his name is Shadow. Ooh, spooky. And now he's not a hedgehog. But we will see him a little bit later. Yeah, really. Next up is called The Atrocities. Alright, so The Atrocities, according to the back of the card, are another group of humans who've been um, experimented on, mutated by the Martians... And, um, they've escaped and ganged together and are going on the offensive. So it's kind of like, um, the Avengers meets the Toxic Crusaders or something like that. Destroying a submarine is this one here. It is my least favorite card in the series only because there, there's no Martians. There's no robots. There's no spaceship. There's a little ray gun destroying a submarine. I mean, it gets the point across. But uh, this could be part of any other card series. I, I like to have something distinctly Mars Attacks-y in, in my Mars Attacks cards. Next up is a card called Hot Death. Hot Death, Summer in the City. So yeah, if you shoot somebody into a lava pool, even if the shots don't get them, um, yeah, they're not coming back out. Under Attack is up next. So uh, there's got to be something scary in that building if you're going to risk jumping out into the giant waspinator swarm. And Torturing a Martian. Alright, Torturing a Martian. Okay, they actually, according to this card, they're torturing him with sound waves, and, um, so he's in front of this giant speaker, his brain is literally pulsing out of his own head, um, you know, my downstairs neighbors have recently discovered the bass on their sound system, so I could totally sympathize, and, uh, these guys are playing, um, well, the lady is holding a, a record album, some kind of death metal, which is fair enough, but I really, really wish that was Slim Whitman, Indian Love Call, you know, song from the movie. That would have been awesome. Cold War is the title of this card. And this lady's got a chainsaw for her hand. As uh, our good friend Ash from Evil Dead would say, groovy. Next up is Freedom Fighters. Okay, go, go, Gadget Copter. <laughs> so we got some um, resistance fighters attacking this UFO. They've got this little whirly bird backpack, and that looks utterly ridiculous. But it is actually a concept that was uh, brought about for the original card series back in 62, but they never actually... Um, 
uh, painted those cards. That they never got off the um, sketch stage. But um, I, I did a review a while back on a book, Mars Attacks 50th Anniversary Collection. And there's um, a section in that book that has um, some of these unproduced sketches. Let me show you those right now. And there you go. So you can see that the uh, helicopter backpack was part of the original idea for uh, Mars Attacks. And I love the look on this one dude's face. <laughs> so like, um, you know, newspaper uh, comic strip uh, face he's got going there. So, uh, so yeah, it's nice to see that they're taking these old, uh, unused concepts and bringing them to bear. Um, okay, next up is a card called Betrayed. Remember I told you, um, that one of the Resistance fighters was named Shadow. He always wears that cool Stormtrooper outfit. Yeah, this guy right here, that, that's Shadow. He's a dog. Um, the Martians don't destroy any dogs in this card set, sadly, but they did mutate him into a humanoid, and now he's turned on them. I don't know, it's weird. That was the big reveal at the end of the card set. Shadow has been a dog man all this time. I didn't see it coming, I'll give him that. And, uh, the next card is called Uprising Begins. Now, this card, um... Take some explaining. Uh, this little bundle of joy they're holding right there apparently is the first Martian human hybrid baby. This is the last card of the Mars Attacks occupation story. There's more cards after this, uh, which we will be covering soon, and those um, go into the um, IDW comics and other things going on at Mars Attacks at the time. But uh, this was the end of the story. And I'm going to read the back of this card. I don't read the back of these often, but I have a, a, a point and a purpose. All right. Attack saucers strike a small rural community, searching for a premium prize, the first Martian human offspring. As soldiers pillage storefronts and churches, no one is safe. They've never allowed a human to birth a Martian child, and one young woman impregnated by a Martian defector has escaped their patrols. After her lover was executed for his treachery, she hides out in an abandoned barn, but the occupation is at a tipping point, and with drones destroyed and Martian defectors on their side, the human race is ready to rise up and take back the planet. So we had Mars Attacks Invasion, we had Mars Attacks Occupation, it sounds very, very much like they were building up to Mars Attacks Resistance, or something along those lines. Um... Unfortunately, that never came to be. The next Mars Attacks card series is called Mars Attacks The Revenge, and it completely resets the whole timeline. In fact, it's a sequel, a follow-up to the 62 card set. So we'll never know, uh, in this version of Mars Attacks, um, the end of the story, we'll never know if humanity escapes from Martian rule or not. And I think that's pretty sad. I would love to see one last card set, but these were um, a Kickstarter project. And I do wonder if they didn't make as much as they were hoping to, or if the sales were low. I don't know, because the next set that we'll be looking at, uh, Mars Attacks the Revenge, definitely is a cheaper set, in uh, several meanings of the word. But, um, so this is the end of the storyline here, guys. Um, sorry to say, but, um, but it's been quite a ride. So uh, don't uh, don't get off the bus yet, though. Like I said, we are going to be... Looking at the rest of Mars Attacks Occupation, it'll be fun. I'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will, too. Until then, this has been the Starving Martian, everybody. Keep watching the skies.